Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tineke Rensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. Hi there, everybody. We have yet another episode of the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, where I interview powerful businesswomen who do business internationally and who are willing to share their expertise on how they went global and what they did. And today I have again a very special guest. She's from the Netherlands. Her name is Ingen Bol. And Ingen is a dynamic change maker who's always looking for new challenges. After a successful career of almost 20 years in the corporate environment, she started her own business in 2003. For the past 16 years, she has been advising a variety of industries and building bridges between people and organizations. She's a great supporter of creating multiple streams of income and being able to make choices in life. The last couple of years, she has dedicated her career to building a global network with a widespread social impact female wave of change, which is an NGO. Building a global social movement is like starting all over again. As an entrepreneur, you need to find your real purpose, work with the right people, develop your content and find ways to get those sustainable income streams in yet again. Hi Ingen, that's you. Hi Tineke. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Uh, yes, it's, I'm glad. it's a journey, but you know, I love it. Yeah, definitely. I think that's the most important thing. You should always love what you do, whether it's in business or a job. Yeah. Okay, let's let's dive into the questions because you have so much to share. Um, in your uh, introduction, we talked about the female wave of change. What's the purpose of your global organization? Um well, to keep it short, we want to change the world into a better place for everyone. Uh, that's a big goal. Mm -hmm. uh, I realize that. But, um, you know, we realized, or I realized more and more, that we live in a world of change. And change is exponential. It's actually the, the only thing that we're really certain of. And um, I think that right now, uh, for, and that, is, that is, was my perspective, um, I felt like if we are going to... Uh, you know, if this continues the way it is going on, then we're heading in the, not really in the right direction. Uh, I felt like, you know, if we want to redirect that change, um, that we need our feminine energy and that we need our feminine values. And uh, that for me was very important. Uh, but also the, uh, you know, I saw that women entrepreneurs, they, a lot of, especially the smaller entrepreneurs, they saw that this change was happening, but they were really, they were hiding and, you know, just pretending that it was not going to affect them. So uh, I really wanted to create awareness that, you know, you just cannot avoid avoid it it will you know it will be in every corner of our society it will it will be everywhere and you have to be aware of what is going on so we wanted to create awareness that's one and the other thing is we really want to contribute to um uh, to create a a better and a a better world for each and every one mm. Yeah. And especially, you know, if you become older, like I am, you know, I'm, I'm turning 60 this year. I'm, I'm, you know, very proud of that, you know, still lots of ideas. But I also turned, you know, became a grandmother at the end of last year. 
you know, I feel that we have to leave a legacy for our children and, and for the next generations and not just a great company with a lot of uh, profit and things like that, but we really have to be aware of the impact that we make and the footprint that we leave. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and yeah, I, I so much agree with that. Um, and, and and thank you for addressing that that that, that women uh, with the small businesses somewhere are hiding. I yeah, I think uh, that's that's totally true. Okay. So how uh, I've I've checked your website, a uh, female wave of change, and uh, you are in many many countries already. Uh, yeah. I wonder, how did this happen? Did you determine, I want to be in this country, this country, this country, or did the women show up? How, how did it work? Yeah. Well, I think I've been working, because, you know, we're only uh, active for the last two and a half years right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that if I had made a plan two and a half years ago, how female wave of change would look right now, I could have never imagined this. And I think I built this organization with the help of a lot of amazing women like i've always built my businesses and that's very organic mm -hmm. you know i don't really work with smart plans and with smart swot analysis <laughs> and all kinds of things you know but i i live by a direction i know in which direction i am going and that is where i'm focusing on but if i find lemons i make lemonade you know so things happen on the road and especially right now you know, in this changing world, you just cannot predict the future. So it's it's just happening. And when we started uh, two and a half years ago, we were just planning one event. We wanted to create awareness about what was going on. And we were not thinking behind that event, but on the way, working towards that event, it just happened. And we had these messages from women all over the the globe saying you know what are you going to do and can we join you so i thought okay this is going to be a little bit bigger than this <laughs> one event so we started doing online events and we said okay we, these women really want to be connected so what do we do so we started creating these uh, this whole organization with uh, ambassadors and wave makers in the countries and you know it just kept on growing but it was very much organically but I isn't that the feminine way, uh, Ingen? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yes. me too. Yes, yeah. It's not. It's not about being smart about goals. It is very much about knowing where you're going, and seeing if things that are happening, if it fits into what your what your direction is, if it if it fits into the program. So we did some things on the way that you know in the beginning you thought, especially the board that I started with, they were like. So what is she doing now? Is this, you know, we were just planning this one event. Can, but I just felt like if this is what speaks to the women in all these countries, then we have to open up our network and we have to open this organization for all these women. And um, yeah, that results right now in, uh, I think this week we're going to announce country number 33 and 34. So it's, wow. it's exploded in two and a half years so how do you manage all that well <laughs> that was my next thing managing growth is the it's that is that is hard uh -huh, yeah <laughs> that's why i that asked because i know <laughs> yes you know and when it's the, the first three four countries then you're able to do this but you know more and more you start thinking about you know okay well, i have this whole group in the middle east so let's have one ambassador who's really responsible for the Middle East. There's this whole group in Africa, let's make one. So we have our ambassadors first among equals. Uh, but also, you know, we, we set up a training program for these ambassadors so that, so that they know what to do and mm -hmm. how to do it and where to find things. Because normally, you know, we started with each and everyone doing everything individually, but now we can just not do that anymore. Um, although I must say, I still love to know everyone, so I love to be connected and uh, whenever I can, I talk to everyone, but it's, um, it is a thing. But also, you know, the, uh, the legal things and the financial things, you know, it is, if you are represented in so many countries, you have to be very much aware that things can happen on the way, that things can happen in these countries and that we have to protect the global organization, but on the other hand, we really wanted to give these countries um, 
the opportunity to register female wave of change locally so that they would be a legal entity in their country but also be able to open up bank accounts and organize events and get money income streams and things like that so um yes it is a challenge but also you know the, the people you work with we started completely with nothing no money so everyone was a volunteer uh, and um especially the people that are very close to me and the board members and the inner circle and you know the, the whole uh, organization it has to grow with you and on the way of course people who started you know in the beginning felt like well you know this is going in a direction that yeah. i didn't choose for so uh with you know i, I was i'm very grateful with those people who started with me but on the way you know some left and uh, so the people come. that you choose to join you um you really make wise selections on uh, if they are able to uh, uh to really be uh, you know to 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 support this yeah. growth and to manage that growth. and what what's the, i love the word you say wise selections do you have criteria for that or is it just your gut feeling um it starts with gut feeling yeah yes absolutely um but that is also you know i'm someone who really works from my gut feeling and from my feminine values and my feminine you know everything uh but right now i we also have in the board we have women who think uh more Mas structure yeah. more we have to organize the masculine yeah, and that is very good because I need people like that yeah. because we need we have to build that structure, and we always like for instance we also have a circle of wise women, uh, women from all over the globe who bring in a certain expertise, a certain knowledge, a certain wisdom. Also men, not just women, also men. Um, but we said, well, you know, we have a list of what they, you know, what what with selection criteria. Uh, but there's also always two board members that will speak to someone and do that selection. Okay. Yeah, especially the, the, the circle of wise women, they really need to be, um, that, is, that, is the, that is the hardest to get into, let's say this way. Mm -hmm. uh, but also the board members, we have right now, we are working with two new candidate board members. So they get two to three months. To get to know the organization, to get to know the the ambassadors, to get to know the circle, to get to know everything that we're new, doing, and within those two to three months, we decide if this is really something for them. This is something you start doing for a number of years. You know, it's not just we. I do this for three months and then I quit yeah. again. You know, you really need um, the right people to uh, to start working with you. Yeah. yeah. And thank you. That's you know the the while you are talking and while you are explaining, we get an idea of how big this organization already grew in just two and a half years. So yes. I think that's a tremendous uh, achievement, uh, Inge. Um, where I want to applaud you for really do. <laughs> Um, well, thank you, but you know, it's this is not a one woman. No, it's no, no. Idea. Okay, totally yeah. understand. Yeah, you know, yeah. The, so many uh inspiring women who work with us so it's yeah i i get that but i'm talking to you now and yes. <laughs> you... <laughs> i will tell them <laughs> okay good so um you know you 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 now have all these criteria you have your selection process with the two board members things can still go wrong you know uh you probably have had that happen already i don't know uh with with the local ambassador what do you do because, you know, uh, you depend a lot. Uh, you, you already have training, I heard, so that evolved as well. So it's, you know, it's becoming a lot more professional. Uh, but, but what do you do? What, what, what are your ways on how to navigate when somebody's not working? I, I assume it's in the contract, but still. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, there still are women <laughs> and men, of course, you know, that uh, can sell themselves really well yeah and then after that it's you know it just looks nice on their resume but then you know this is really working so uh we do have a way if you know we start of course working with these ambassadors
But if it doesn't turn out, we have the option to say, okay, this this was it. You know, this that that can be our choice. Mm -hmm. um, we don't really want to do that because no. you know this is something you you start building uh, also something in that uh, in that country. But it does happen. You know, we have had our legal issues already. And, uh, but on that, at that moment, uh, I love it that uh, we have this great group of women that can advise us. So it is never a one person decision on what yeah. is going to happen. Of course, we have the board, but I also, you know, chat with our, um, uh, some people, people from the circle of wise women, you know, I pick and choose, you know, we have all these experts there. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, the ambassadors first among equals. This, that's a very uh, important team. That they're responsible for the different continents. It is never a one-woman decision. No. What is going to happen? This is something that we uh, we talk about, and and that is what I like in this organization. You know, it's it's not like I'm more important than the other one. And of course, in the end, someone has to decide what to do. But uh, in you know. In our journey, it's always, it is always, you know, talking, collaborating, uh, mm -hmm. making decisions to, together. And uh, that is really what I wanted to achieve and what you want to see happening in the world. You know, it's... Yeah. And, um, and it, I, I, this is so feminine. And I know for, eh, I work with a lot of business women, it's really difficult for a woman to, um, be, uh, to say goodbye to somebody because to us the relationship is so important and we don't want to disappoint people. So this is not, it's not for us, it's not only a business decision. Uh, it's, it's, there's a lot more involved. Uh, so that's why it's hard. So I think it's good when you do this together. So you don't have to blame yourself because that's what we do. We feel guilty and you know, and when you do this together, it's, it's a lot more easy. I love, I love and that. you know, Tineke, most of the times when something does happen, there is something going on with that person. And that person also wants to stay in touch and they want to keep doing what they're doing. But maybe it's just not a time in their yeah. life. And they feel very relieved when the decision is taken. Wow. So um, it, is, it is something that you do together. But mm -hmm. um, it can be, you know, the, the, the best choice for everyone. Yeah, well, I like that. Uh, yeah, I like that you add that. Um, starting an organization like Female Wave of Change uh, means you need income streams as soon as possible. Um, <laughs> what is your business model and how do you create sustainable income streams? Because you're, I know you're all about various income streams. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I feel, you know, that uh, as an organization, we really have to be responsible that we create those income streams. Uh, it's, uh, in the beginning, a lot of people came you know, for advice. They told me how to do this. And we could ask funding from this organization and funding from that organization. And we could you know, find sponsors, bigger companies that would pay. But every time that I was talking and, and considering things like that, I thought, well, you know, I have to give up who we are yeah. to be able to get those sponsors in or to get those funds in. And that is something that we said, well, this is exactly what we don't want. You know, one of the things that we say in Female Way of Change is don't fight the old, but create the new. We want to create. We want people to start creating the things. And uh, so we said we have to create our own content. We have to create our own income streams so that it's you know keeps on flowing and that it's not a once you know one one time thing and and it's okay you know right now we are uh, developing a new um, education program it's going to be a very big education program very different uh, and we we might be able to get some funding for that but then you know we have the funding to be able to get in the teachers who develop the program uh, and get some payment over there, over there. But you know, the education program is one of our biggest money makers right now. It already is. So uh, we want it to be ours. We want it to be what we want to get out of life. How we want to educate women, um, and not we we do not want to do something because someone else thinks it should be different yeah it is our mission it is our purpose we really want to educate those change makers 
women who step into their leadership, who really take responsibility for their future, for their own future, but also for the family, the community, and of the world. And uh, our whole program has to be focused on that. Mm -hmm. But in the end, someone is really up to it and and, uh, and steps up and, and be is the change. Yeah, and uh, so so people pay for the education program and yes. what, what other income streams are there? Memberships or how does it work? Yeah. But what we did is uh, the whole business model that we uh, that we created, we said, of course, we have female wave of change global that needs some income streams and we have female wave of change local. So we said, OK, the local organization is very important because they are the ones who reach out to the many women in that country or in that area. So what we did is um, the memberships, for instance, Female Way of Change Global does not have memberships. The local organization has the memberships. Mm -hmm. The local organization, for instance, our program that we run right now, we have Women Leading in Change, an online program. That is something we have the income streams goes to global. Women Leading in Change Local, that will be available from the in the second half of this year. That offers the income streams for the local organizations. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, so we're different, creating different ways of getting those income streams in. Local has a lot of opportunities to get those their own income streams, but a certain percentage of what yeah. of their total revenue goes to global. Yeah. So we design the programs, we make everything happen for them. We are responsible for that they can run the show in their own country. But they have first have the income streams, and we come second. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And do do they have to pay for their education, or have to pay a fee to get into the organization? No. Okay. No. If they want to be involved, for instance, for um, um, like for instance, running the Women Leading and Change local program, then they have to follow the women leading and change online program and that's where they pay they pay for the reduced fee but they do pay yeah, yeah, yeah but for them it's important and we have already had uh several well a lot actually of ambassadors and of, of our wave makers who did uh, follow the women leading and change program voluntarily because she's, they said well you know we really need to know what what we are offering yeah of so, course yeah yeah you know what I, what I love uh, about this is that you are running it like a business and that, that yeah. you're not, uh, that you really choose to be independent of everybody who has big piles of money uh, because, you know, that's, that's you, you'll be bagging around visiting all networking organizations all the time and, you, yeah, you need fundraisers and... and and what if, yeah, you, you see it a lot. What if, what if uh, they, they stop and, and you, you depend on it? So uh, I think it's very sensible uh, setting it up like a business like this. It's very short-term thinking also, you know, if you just hold up your hand and do a fundraising, you know, we can do a fundraising for something, you know, to get people to an event or things like that. But on the other hand, you know, you need to think long-term. Yep. And do it the right way. I think this is a good example to a lot of NGOs <laughs> to uh, yeah. to create extra income streams. And they, they, I mean, in the Netherlands, they, they now are forced to because the government stopped, stopped uh, subsidizing a lot. So, uh, yeah, many didn't make it, but yeah. that's the way it is. So what are your plans for the future, Ingen? Well, you know, we only want to reach out to more women. Mm -hmm. And have that positive positive impact on the, on what is happening in the world. You know that that is our most important goal. You know what we really want to realize. So what we are doing is uh, really uh, expanding the uh, the events. So there will be a lot more ev events, especially in the countries. Uh, there will be a lot more focus on the education and empowerment of women. So the whole education program that we are developing right now and will be launched at the global conference in South Africa. Uh, that is very important. So we're really working hard on that. Uh, the other thing is you were just mentioning a pile of money. 
Well, we're working on that as well because we do believe if you look at, you know, funding, uh, worldwide funding for women entrepreneurs, you know, that's terrible. So, I know. Uh, you know, 2.2% of the available money goes to women and people of color. Uh, that's that's you know, know, it's crazy. disgusting. It's bizarre. Yeah. 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 So what we're doing right now is uh, also taking the first steps on setting up the, our own fund to uh, to create that pile of money so that if women go through that whole uh, education program and for instance have their plan to start a business they can also come to us and do a pitch if they want to wow. have that first yeah. uh, money to start that business or for a project you know this is also something that we feel it's very important to create, so it's high on our list. So it is about expansion, of course, in more areas. It is about um, uh, being more visible, creating more visibilities. And, you know, in certain countries, because that's also the international thing, some countries you just can shout out loud and, you know, start big events and do it like that. But we are also creating something right now for countries that you know that have to stay under the radar create that foundation of you know women who are involved and more women getting involved and one more women getting involved before they can organize an event before they can really go out in the open and say okay mm -hmm. this is what we want but then they can show okay so many women are already listening so we're also working on that so a lot happening yeah and of course our global uh, conference our first global conference in south africa in uh, september and uh, there's uh, an, an, uh, a conference that will uh, the, the theme is women leading to accelerate change so we really want to accelerate it now in a positive way so we are really going to discuss and work on how can we do this but also the, the subtitle is um creating tangible results together so we really want people after the conference to work to walk away with new opportunities yeah. new plans yeah. new connections new so that's the next day they are really you know hitting it off and um it's it's already great you know there will be um uh, speakers joining from all over the world we have now speakers yeah, I've from seen five it. continents it's, yeah. it's amazing and um uh, we're focused on 250 change makers who will join us there and uh, we have amazing speakers also from South Africa because of course we want to give them the chance to showcase their country and showcase their opportunity but also the surrounding countries will be uh, will be involved uh, so that's again a, a big challenge but um, I think it's uh, it is going to be amazing and this will be more and you know starting something like this is global conference i think there are already countries thinking about i will be next so i want to be yeah, next. yeah 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 yes yes wow. that is uh, yeah so it grows from there and th th i believe I, I believe you've spoken to the un as well eh? um well about speakers yes Oh, okay. I, I have not spoken at the UN. No. Oh, okay. I, I, I would then, love that. Then, <laughs> okay. I, I, uh, I thought I thought I heard uh, something like that. So wow, so you know. But but again, what what are your plans for the future? How can you know? You know, if you don't know what you don't know, <laughs> you did. You you only were going to organize one event. If you want to grow an organization the feminine way, it is going growing organically. And the things will come turn turn up right into your face, and yeah, yes. and then then you have to act. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, I I I love the 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 how big your organization is, and on the other hand, how structured because that's what women need. Eh? It's that's the masculine thing. What I think it's brilliant to grow uh, the feminine way, but then you need to. Uh, control the growth and you need to have everything in order otherwise the growth will go nowhere and, and you will kill yourself so Absolutely. I think this is uh, this is a perfect example of how the feminine and masculine should be to should both be there in, in yeah. an organization in a business um, to grow so is, is there one more thing you would like to add uh, Ingen? Um, well you know 
uh, an advice, a tip for women. Um, open up your mind, you know. The world is your play field, mm. you know. And the world needs you and needs you right now. You know, you can just keep on thinking about what you're going to do and you can keep on writing business plans or, you know, thinking about what, you know, just do it. Do it now and, uh, you know, and you will fall, but you will, you know, you will get up and go again. And uh, it, I think it's, it's the perfect way. And get yourself a, um, a good mentor yeah. that yeah. will hold your hand and maybe, you know, whether it's a man or a woman that, uh, you know, I have several women I can call and really feel like, okay, really need to talk right now. Um, you know, we all need that. Someone who supports you and uh, really believes in what you're doing and uh, get a group of uh, great people around you. Mm. Don't focus on everyone who is going to steal your dream because that doesn't get you anywhere. No. Uh, you know, Pay attention and uh, give your energy to the women and, and men who, uh, who lift you up and uh, really commit to what you want to achieve. And um, just do it. Go for it. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much for this great example of showing up uh, as, a, as an international, I would say, businesswoman. Because although it's an NGO, you run it like a business with your team. So thank you so much, uh, Ingen, for sharing your wisdom. And uh, thank you for joining us, uh, everybody who's tuning in. And I hope you've learned a lot again today. And we'll see you for the next show. Bye-bye.